Welcome back to the Ambassador's Hour. My name is Minister Renata McFadden. I am the manager of the Ambassador's Hour, the co-founder of Loving People by Sharing Christ. And I wanted to come on this for a quick moment to just share with you what the Lord has placed in my spirit this morning. But before we get into the contents of this video, i like to go before the throne of grace. Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come before you right now, God. Thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, to just impart into your people, Lord God, what you are saying to me in this hour and in this season, God. God, I thank you for the privilege and for the honor to be connect, divinely connected to those who are a part of the Ambassador's Hour. I thank you, Lord God, for the many years that you have allowed us to labor together in love, God. God, and I pray, God, as we open up our hearts to receive and then we have our spirits in alignment with your will and your purpose, God, that you lead us and you guide us by your spirit, God. God, I just intercede right now, Lord God, for those who right now are in um, a holding pattern in the realm of the spirit and they're trying to figure out what their next move is, God. They're looking for you and they're hungry for something and they're expecting change and they're needing an opportunity, Lord God, to connect with you on a deeper level, God. And I pray that you do just that in them and through them and you show them their purpose and help them, Lord God, to fulfill their assignment in the earth realm. I cry out before you this morning, God, because I realize, Lord God, that many, many are frustrated in this season and many, many are carrying weights, Lord God, that should be laid at your feet, God. God, so I ask you right now, Lord God, to give your people the wisdom and give them the understanding, Lord God, and the ability, Lord God, to release those things, Lord God, that they have been carrying for many, many years, Lord God, those things that are weighing them down and are hindering their next move in you, God. Oh, God, I just cry out before you this morning because I understand, Lord God, the weight of the assignment that you have placed upon my life, God, and I do not want my flesh to get in the way of anything you desire to do in me or through me. I do not want to hinder your people. So I repent before you right now, Lord God, for anything that I've done, anything that I might have said that might have been offensive to people, that might have uh that might have tainted or and um prohibited people from being able to receive what you called them to receive and get what you desire to impart into them. God, I thank you for your grace and I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for the opportunity, Lord God, to just continue to grow by leaps and bounds. And I thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to serve your people, God. God, I just want to love on you this morning, God, because I realize that you are Alpha, God. You are the Omega, God. You are the author and the finisher of our faith, God. And without you, God, we can't do nothing, God. God, so we just seek your face this morning, God, asking you to have your way like never before, God. Asking you, Lord God, to just go before us today, God, paving the way in the realm of the Spirit, God. God, into your hands we commit this day, God, asking that you have your way, God, asking that you speak freely through us God asking you Lord God to use us for your glory God oh God we just cry out to you this morning God because we understand Lord God God that you are our source God you are our way maker God you are our bridge over troubled water God God so we just thank you Lord God we thank you in advance Lord God for the provision Lord God we thank you in advance Lord God for making the way God making every crooked place straight and every rough place smooth in our lives God oh God we exalt you this morning God because we understand, Lord God, that you are the one that's in control. You are our source, God. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy to be lifted up, God. You said in your word, God, if you be lifted up, God, that you'll draw all men unto you, God. And we lift you up this morning, God, asking you to draw, Lord God. Draw, Lord God. Draw, Lord God, by your spirit. Draw, Lord God, from the north, from the south, from the east and the west. Draw people, Lord God, to come and sup with you, God, to drink from your well, Lord God. Draw people, Lord God, to receive what they need from you, God. Oh, God, and we'll be ever mindful, God, to give your name the praise, God. We'll be ever mindful, God, to give you all the honor, God, all the glorious in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus that I pray. Amen and amen. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness God oh I thank you for your loving kindness God that you have shown towards us God I thank you for your grace God I thank you for your mercy God oh I thank you Lord God 
for being God and God all by yourself. Ah, oh, well, if I had 10,000 tongues, God, I couldn't thank you enough, God. And this morning, God, flowing from my heart is gratefulness, God. I'm so, so grateful, God, that you didn't forget about me, God. I'm so, so grateful, God, that you didn't give up on me, God. I'm so, so grateful, God, that you didn't turn me over to a reprobated mind, God. Oh, God, but you allowed your angels to contend for me, God. And I thank you, Lord, God, that you raised war for my soul. God, I thank you, Lord, God, that you sent your own only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for me, God. Oh, he died for a wretched sinner like me, God. And I'm so, so grateful, God. I'm so, so grateful that he thought I was worth saving. Oh, I'm so grateful, God, that he thought I was worth saving, God. I just thank you this morning, God. I just thank you this morning, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your name, God. I give you the highest praise this morning, God. For you alone, God. You alone are worthy, God. You alone are worthy, God. All the honor belongs to you, God. All the glory belongs to you, God. None compares to you, God. None compares to you, God. Hallelujah, God. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty God. Y'all let me calm myself down. (laughs) Oh, Lord, I done prayed myself happy this morning. I am excited about Jesus. I am excited about what he is doing. I am excited about my relationship with him. I am excited about my my insight, that the insight that I get from being able to be in the presence of the Holy Spirit. I am excited this morning. And I just want to come on this morning just to uh, encourage you just to inspire you but before i get so so far gone i just want to just keep it in context let's just do let's say our mantra um you know how it is you know what it is if you've been following this channel long enough you know our mantra the mantra is for i know who i am and whom that i stand who empowers me to be i am an ambassador for christ and this is the hour to recognize me (laughs) y'all let's say that one more time because i promise you it resonated with my spirit it's for i know who i am and in whom that i stand whom empowers me to be i am an ambassador for christ and this is the hour to recognize me Oh, Lord Jesus, I know my sister is celebrating right now because I know who I am and whom that I stand, whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ. And this is the hour to recognize me. Y'all, let me tell you something. God gave my sister this vision for this channel back in 2005, six, something like that. It's been so many, many years ago. And when she used to say the mantra, she used to tell me to say the mantra and everything. I used to say it, but it didn't resonate with me like it resonate with me today. And what I'm saying is I reached a place in my walk in Christ that I truly know who I am and in whom that I stand, who empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ. And I recognize this is the hour to recognize me. I know so many people may be looking and trying to figure out who minister Renata McFadden is, who prophetess Renata McFadden is. I'm going to have to just put that out there because I am a prophetess. I know for a long time I warred with accepting that title either both both titles for a long time i i struggled and i was looking for some man to come to me and say who i who i am but god was like no i need you to recognize what i said to you i need you to recognize what i show you and what i speak to you and he speaks to me mouth to mouth and i'm not saying all of this 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 is not a this this I'm just put this disclaimer out that this episode of the Ambassador's Hour is not about uh vanity or pride. There's no as far I am far from uh being a vain person or being a being an arrogant person. That's just just not how it works. I truly believe that all the glory and all the honor belongs to God, and that is why I made sure I set this tone of this video by exalting God, cause He is the only alpha and the only omega this knowledge is all about him all for his glory so anyway but i just want to put that out there because i don't want about to hear that part and then click off of this video because they think i'm self-absorbed when i'm not 
Okay, so for years I warred about walking in purpose. For years I warred about uh, fulfilling my assignment in the earth. But how many of y'all know that there comes a time in your life that you will enter into what is called a Kairos moment? And that's a God moment. I had a God moment. Um, I, I've just been having God moments. Like yesterday, the Lord just validated the laboring that I've done in the kingdom. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, God, I didn't see it coming. I had no clue. And he allowed me to recognize that your gift will make room for you. It truly will. But you have to be the one who is utilizing your gift. If you don't use your gift, it can't make room for you. But when you submit yourself to God and you use your gift, God will put you in a place that is you can call home. He'll put you in a place where your gift will make room for you, where people will honor the assignment that is upon your life. And you not have to feel like I had to, to push and pull and prime and do all of this stuff to get there. No, when you really, really following the leading of the Holy Spirit, God will put you in a place where people will recognize the anointing that is upon your life. And I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful that I'm in a place that I can call home. I'm grateful that God has uh began to speak to me on a whole nother level and I'm starting to see and when I say see I mean literally see um visual see vis I have I'm starting to have visions I'm starting to have dreams God is speaking to me prophetically and I know that's because I'm in a place that I could call home and so the Lord has been just a couple of months ago, he woke me up and I saw this waiting room full of frustrated people. And I was like, okay, God, what is this? Why am I seeing this room full of frustrated people? What is this all about? And God was like, listen, right now, well, let's just go back from, from the beginning of the year. God, when like around this time last year, God started dealing with me about restoring his altars. He started dealing with me about going forth in ministry and doing now is my time for me to do what he called me to do. And those of you who follow this channel, you know that my sister passed away in January. I mean, before she passed, she, before she passed away in December, we were having these in-depth conversations. We had all these plans. And we was like, okay, you know, next year we're going to do da 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 And, you know, we always had a roundtable experience. And we were so excited about what was next. And neither one of us didn't know, you know, that what was, what was next was us being her departing and me having to get up and take up my mantle as y'all see i'm wearing my mantle this morning and i'm wearing it i don't often um get on camera wearing my press y'all um i don't often you know I, I i this is to me this is very sacred um and and i res i respect my mantle and i protect my privacy when it comes down to the things of god so i don't just just take it lightly i don't and um a couple of years no no it's been probably 12 years or so my sister went to a conference and the lord um and this is all gonna tie together y'all i know i sound like i'm all over the place but it is a purpose for me going here um my sister went to a conference and she was praying and when she was at a Benny Hinn conference and when she was at the conference um they were selling these prayer shawls and these these you know if you know anything about um religious backgrounds you understand that these that the prophets wore these and they they um were signet of their assignment and they would walk and they will people would know them by the garments that they wore and um the Lord prompted her to purchase 
this this pressure off of me and the sword into my life. And when she sold the pressure into my life, she released a prophetic word to me about my purpose and about what God was going to use me to do. And at the time when she gave it to me, I was like, oh, my God, like, whoa, um, you sure he told you to tell me this? I'm sure you sure. And one thing you will know, um, you, you may not know if you don't know, you'll get to know is that um, when my sister spoke, my spiritual ears were open to receive because I knew her genuine heart for God. And I knew that she spent her time before the throne. And when she released something, she, like she said, she didn't use the prophetic word. Um, very, she very rarely said prophecies. She very rarely used that word because she respected that office. And she recognized that her office in ministry was the, uh, her, her assignment in ministry was teacher but there were times that God would give her prophetic words and she would speak when he gave her the utterance to speak. So, and when she, she, when she sold it into my life and she spoke that word over me, I was a, I was young in my walk in God and I didn't quite understand, um, everything that would be a, involved in being a prophet. I understood that um, that position was a very sacred position, and I understood that um, you definitely don't want to play with a title like that. So, I know that to whom much is given, much is required. And um, so, for me, for a long time, I kind of teetered about walking in my prophetic gift. And so, um, over the course of time, I've had experiences where people kind of shun me and people kind of rejected the call and all that kind of stuff. So I don't really, I'm not a, I'm not big on trying to, for me, if you really know me, if you really get a chance to get to know me, you know that for me, titles, I don't take, I mean, I respect titles, but I'm not chasing the title and for me i will do what god told me to do just as renata and nobody has to ever um acknowledge me or call me minister or prophet or or whatever you want to call me uh for me it's not about that for me it's just about doing the will of the father so but for me to get on today this is this this video, this episode of the Ambassador's Hour is a very important episode of the Ambassador's Hour because the Lord has prompted me to declare in the atmosphere that I genuinely know who I am and in whom that I stand, who empowers me to be. My purpose and my mantle, I know it's not from me. I know I know who I am in God. And I recognize that um, God is prompting me in this hour um, to pour into his people. And he's give, he has given me an assignment, a weighty assignment. And I, um, I recognize the, um, I recognize this Kairos moment, this God moment in my life. I recognize that this is an assignment from heaven and I do not. I can't afford to miss another assignment. I can't afford to forfeit another um, opportunity to fulfill my assignment in the earth. So I came on to um, share with you this vision that I had. And I'll go now. So now I can go back to the vision that I had now that I've laid the foundation of you knowing who I am and where, the, how long I've been. I've been walking with the Lord since I am 42 years old now. I accepted Christ at 21. I've been walking with the Lord for a long time. Um, although my face may be new and my name may be new to some people, I'm not new to the things of God. I have been, like I said, it's been over 20, it's been 21 years since um, I accepted Christ. So I have learned and I, I sat 
I sat for many years up under multiple leadership, teaching me protocol and teaching me order and teaching me how to um, enter in to the things of God, enter into the spirit, um, to, to, to have to go behind the veil and then go into prayer and fasting. I understand those those things and I know how to do it and I know how to um, set an atmosphere for God to be able to have his way. And so I wanted to come on this morning and talk to you guys about this vision and um, extend the opportunity for you to come and worship with me and to go before to go into um, go and have an awesome experience with God for yourself. Um, the Lord has, um, like I said, he woke me up several months ago and he showed me a room a waiting room full of frustrated people. And if you if you ever heard anything prophetically that I've released, then you know that God deal with me. Um he give me visuals that are um most of the time a lot a lot of things that he see show me is medical related because I can understand. Um just like when Jesus he gave him um parables. When Jesus gave parables to the people, he gave them parables in ways that they could relate. And so for me to see a waiting room, like an emergency room full of frustrated people, it resonated for me because I work in the medical field. And so I could see and I could understand, um, I could connect with the frustration of the people in the waiting room. I know how it is to be sitting there for an hour, two hours and waiting for the doctor to call you back and you just get ir irritated and you could be right, be the next person in line and just about to get called and you get out of position. And some people leave when I'm like, okay, you only got five more minutes. Come on. He's the next person. Come out of that room. That room is yours. If you can just bear with us a few more minutes, but because of that and being impatient and because of being, you know, feeling like I had, I had a time I was supposed to be called back and nobody called me and I'm ready to go. You know, and a lot, and then you end up hurting yourself because you get out of position prematurely. And that's what's happening in the realm of the spirit right now. There are people who have been waiting for the manifestation of the promises of God for a long time. And they frustrated. They frustrated because they haven't seen his hand move yet. They have not seen the breakthrough yet. Their name ain't been called. They ain't got their miracle yet. They still sick in their body. They still marriage still in trouble. The children still wayward. Whatever it is that they've been asking God to do, it just seemed like it ain't no ground being broken in it. But I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. The word of God says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as an eagle and soar. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. I want to encourage you that your due season is coming. God has not forgot about you. He has not forgot about you. I know, I know, I know it's been a long time. I know it feels like it's never going to end. I know it feels like nobody cares. Nobody understands, but I promise you, that I do. I promise you that the Lord does. I am here. I am laboring in the spirit realm this morning because I feel the weight of the assignment that God has placed upon my life. I am warring for you. I am standing in the gap because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God can and he will. He can and he will show up in that situation. He can and he will make a way out of no way. He can and he will provide for you. He can and he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. You have to, in Christ Jesus, you just got to keep standing in faith. You got to keep speaking faith-filled words. You have to keep yourself built up in your most holy faith. Stay before the throne of grace. Keep worshiping, keep praying, keep keep putting speaking the word, keep getting up because your time is coming. Your time is coming. 
you are getting ready to experience a Kairos moment, a God moment. God finna show up in your situation like never before today um i want to encourage you if you if this message is for you if you are that person who have been saying minister I, minister i'm just so weak i'm so weak right now i'm so frustrated right now it just seems like everything on hold everything but the kitchen sink being thrown at me and i don't know if i'm i'm gonna make it to the end i don't know if i got what it takes to keep going i want to encourage you to meet me at the waiting room we are going to be at um 11 10 Gaines drive Piri, georgia we're going to be a new wine worship center we are going the the waiting center the waiting room experience is going to be this friday and saturday which is december the 9th and the 10th december the 9th at 7 p.m we will be bombarding heaven. We will have genuine authentic worshipers leading us into the presence of God. And we're going to labor and we're going to go in until God releases us. And then on Saturday morning, we're going to come back and we're going to have around two. We're going to bombard heaven. We're going to worship. And we're going to have a great, awesome opportunity to eat, um, break bread together and, and just release whatever it is that's on your heart, whatever it is. And I promise you, I promise you that when you leave that place, you're going to leave renewed. You're going to leave and you're going to leave with greater strength and greater insight. And you're going to be able to get up and go forward. You're going to be able to get up and go forward. God still got time. He still got time to show up in your situation. I know. I know that the, what the doctor's saying. I know what man has said. I know how difficult, how bleak your situation may be. But I promise you that he's able. He is able he is willing and able to do all things but fellas. He is still in the miracle working business and his blood still has miraculous power. So I just want to come on and just want to encourage you to trust God in the waiting. Trust God in that. And you might be in a holding pattern right now, but I believe God that we are hitting a Kairos moment and God is getting ready to send you that breakthrough that you've been laboring for and you are getting ready to experience the hand of God like never before. So I want you to just press your way, press your way to come get what God got for you. Press your way and come and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will not miss, uh, you will not leave the same way you came in. It ain't no way. It ain't no way for you to be able to be in a consecrated place like that and leave the same way that you came in. No, the Bible said one could chase a thousand and two could chase 10,000. And so I want us to come together and put some demons to flight and break some yokes and destroy some, um, destroy some yokes and lift some burdens. I want us to come together and receive, receive freedom and breakthrough in different areas in our lives. I'm believing God. I am believing God that miracles, signs, and wonders is going to happen in that place. You hear me? I am believing God that miracles, signs, and wonders is going to happen in that place. And if you are in need of a miracle, you are in need of a breakthrough, just be like that woman with the issue of blood and just say, if I could just touch if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'm going to be made whole. I don't know about you. I'm going in. I'm going to touch. I'm going to touch the hem of his garment. I'm going to be made whole. I'm going to get some stuff. I'm leaving. I'm not leaving empty. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. My cup going to run over. My cup is already running over, y'all. It's already running over because God has already started to show up. He has already made provision for it division and so i'm super super grateful for that i seen this hand move already i'm already seeing this hand move and i know i know beyond a shadow of a doubt that he gonna do it for you he gonna meet you at the very point of your need so i just want to just come on just share with you that um in this season we can't hesitate in this season, we're just going to have to get up and move. We're going to just have to do what God say do. Don't allow room for doubt. Don't allow room for fear. Don't allow room for the enemy to intimidate you. Just get up and move. 
Obedience is better than a sacrifice. Obey God and it's going to be well with you. Whatever he's telling you to do, just do it. Whatever you telling him, whatever he's telling you to do, just do it. The way has already been made. It has already been made. All God wants you to do is get him a yes, a real yes. He just wants you to get up and move. When you get up and move, the provision is going to manifest. I promise you, I am a living witness. When you get up and move, the provision is going to be made. He gave me everything I needed. All I had to do was get up and move. And that's all you got to do is get up and move. Everything that you need going to be supplied. I'm excited. I'm excited because I know who I am and in whom that I stand and who empowers me to be. When you get to that point where you know that you know that you know, oh, my God, ain't no devil in hell can handle what God is doing. And I'm super, super, super excited because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt who I am and in whom that I stand. And who empowers me to be. This is the hour. It's the hour to recognize me. I want you to keep saying that. I want you to keep saying it till it's real. Till it go from being written on some pages. Till it come rainbow. Till it's be personalized. Till it speak to you. Till your spirit man leap. Every time you hear it say. Every time you hear the words come out of your mouth. I know who I am. And in whom that I stand. Whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ, and this is the hour to recognize me. Y'all, mm -hmm. say it again. I am an ambassador for Christ, and this is the hour to recognize me. I know who I am and in whom that I stand, whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ, and this is the hour to recognize me. Sometimes you got to keep repeating things till you get it in your spirit, till you grab it, till you know beyond the shadow of a doubt who you are, till you recognize, till your spirit man comes alive and responds to the very thing that you are decreeing and declaring out of your mouth. Decree and declare out of your mouth that I'm the head and not the tail. I am the lender and not the bar. I am above and not beneath. I am uh, oh, whatever you want to say you are. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a child of the king. I am the apple of his eye. I am. I am. I am. Everything that you, everything that you have, any kind of insecurities related to, you speak the opposite of it and you keep speaking life to your situation until you see it living, until you see it thriving, until you see it flourish, until you see it growing by leaps and bounds because you have the ability to shift the narrative in your life with the words that you speak. The words that you speak, they are power and they are life. You have to speak life. You choose the right words. Your world is framed by your words. Choose the right words in this season. Be mindful. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. Don't conflict what you desire in your heart. By don't don't come against it by speaking negative words. Change, taste your words. If you can't say nothing positive, don't say nothing. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Stop making your your own way harder by speaking negative words. Y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go to work. But I love y'all. I'm grateful for the opportunity to continue to, to be connected to y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Thank you for supporting Ambassadors Hour. I realize that um it's been a while since we uploaded. But I promise you, just like my sister, I'm not going to pick up this camera unless the Lord has given me something to say to you that's going to encourage you, that's going to edify you. Because you don't need nothing in my flesh. You need what what the you need what's coming from heaven. So I'm gonna be mindful to make sure that what I speak is what God is saying to me at that moment in that time. So um I pray you have a wonderful day. Y'all um just keep me in your prayers and I will do the same for you. And until next time, um if you don't know the Lord Jesus, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, I suggest that you get to know him. And if you don't know how, read Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ came, that he died on the cross for you, that was buried on the third day, and that he rose for your sins. And that will make you saved. Connect yourself with a Bible-believing church. 
and continue to come here for um information because uh, you can connect with us on loving people by sharing christ i would love to be able to support you and help build your your walk with christ i will answer any question i can um concern the faith and i'll pray pray with you and i'll share scriptures with you but until next time goodbye for now